Okay, hello again. Uh, this is OPA's micromanager. It used to be called the Soot of Board. Uh, let's reset it here. Ready, ready to start? Yeah, I hear that. Ready to start? Please. Please. Okay, so what this has is it has the cartridges, like you can. Once you get the space bar, you can jump over to the cartridges, or, or you can load, you know, a TI Basic, and it's got regular TI Basic in it, no difference. Or if you want, you can, uh, you can go over here and you can go to Editor Assembler, RxB. That's fine. This is not part of RxB, by the way. I just have RxB loaded right now. So I just want to show you that yeah, it talks to cartridges. So whatever cartridge you have loaded, it will show. And it talks all the time if you have a speed synthesizer. And I have nine discs set up on Classic. So this is running from Classic 99, of course. Like This is the package right now. Uh, it, I put it in a zip folder. I'll, I'll send it to you guys. And it'll be, uh, I'll put it up on, on uh, Atari Edge. Uh, this is the assembler I use, my GPL uh, Write Data Assembler. Uh, this is C Save and CS Save. It's the same thing they pretty much use in the Geneve to save GPL full, uh, files. Uh, it's a little bit different than what you use for Graham Cracker. I also include the Graham Cracker files here too. Uh, this is the GPL loader. That's what I used to load the assembly quoted. I could include all the assembly. Well, it's not assembly actually. I, what I did is I took the SOB and I didn't know what code he had wrote, wrote it, so I just turned it into data and turned it into GPL data code or bytes, and then just loaded that. Uh, the GPL disassembler, in case you want you want to find figure out what it does. Uh, this is a DV80 file. If you hit it, it tra load it because it's not a display fixed file. But anyways, um, these are the other files. Uh, how I did, uh, if you look at over what I did, you'll, you can probably figure out how I did it. It's not that complicated. Here's the SOB uh, graham cracker files right here that I created. So anyways, let's go, uh, let's uh, minimize this. Uh, here's the folder right here. Come on. Quit making me crazy. Alright, so here's the folder right here, a different way of looking at it. Uh, yeah, as you can see, these are whoops. These are um, files that are. Uh, I need to run the wrong thing. <laughs> Here we go. Now you can look at it. Whoops. Okay, there we go. It's just a. Uh, this is the SOB. That was the same thing. It was the Groms, three Groms, zero, one, and two is where it loads. So if you want to load this into Classic 99, how you do it? is um, you go to options and you go to gram and you turn on these three grams 0, 1, and 2. So I'm going to make a, uh, I'll include in here a classic 99 um, set of follow up files for 0, 1, and 2 to be loaded uh, so you can load it too in classic 99. And you can load all your cartridges too. So anyways, I just wanted to give it, give it a chance to uh, make a video I'll put this out to you and I'll put out the package. Just for the fun of it, just, you know, it took me about maybe six hours. And I thought it was something I started to do a long time ago that I never finished. So I just want to put this out to everybody. So we will talk to you guys later. See you later.